I've been looking for a place for a long time that I can call my own a lot of land where I can ride freely on my property and act a fool, get some slide action and not have any restrictions, no neighbors report me, do whatever I want to do, turn music up loud, act a fool, have a good time out there all night long, don't have anybody calling the police on me. And you know what, guys? My dream has come true. Let's go for a ride. watching cycle cruises all on one motorcycle channel subscribe today make sure to visit cyclecruiser.com and click on the menu tab my videos and those are a bunch of playlists with all my videos categorized in them to make it easier for you to navigate through for those of you that ride motorcycles or you want to learn how to ride a motorcycle make sure you guys get an airbag this this will protect your vital organs, your spine, help stabilize your neck, keep you from having a real effed up day. I have a link to this airbag vest along with my other gear in the description and comment section of this video. Mm, you know, I've been looking for properties for a long time now. Um, I even did a bug out moto van trip down to North Carolina. This is crazy, man. <laughs> Which I have a video link to in the description and comment section of this video where I put an offer on a house I didn't even see because this real estate market is so insane that as soon as a house gets on the market it gets multiple offers and it usually goes over the asking price so i put a so i put an offer on the property as soon as it came on mls it was like uh i think like 11 acres it was in north carolina mountains it had some uh atv trails and stuff on it then i went out there met with the real estate agent and i didn't like it man i didn't like it at all i, I didn't really like that those mountain woods out there it was like really dense and it rains a lot in the North Carolina mountains and stuff. So I was very disappointed in that. And then there was another property that I missed out on by a week that was absolutely perfect, man. It had an A-frame house uh, on 11 acres. Beautiful, man. It had uh, ATV trails. And that, you know, as soon as that came on the market, that had multiple offers like within 48 hours. And it actually sold at over $20,000 over the asking price. So I felt frustrated. I was like, man, I'm never going to find nothing. Then, you know what? Lo and behold, I got this notice in my email, this property that just hit the market on the MLS. And it was 45 acres. Uh, it's got river frontage. It's got private pond. It's got a, a custom house. It's got a cottage. It's got a, like a five car big garage. It's got ATV trails and pristine atv trails and it even comes with all the furnishings and everything it can't it comes with a snowmobile it comes with uh, all the lawn equipment another golf cart um it, it comes with all kinds of stuff man it's, and i tell you this place is like heaven i went to go see it as soon as i saw it on the mls and i will tell you guys that i put an offer on it and you know, within four hours, I put an offer on it, right? And another cash buyer, which by the way, I'm paying cash. I live 100% debt-free lifestyle. My motto is if you can't afford to pay for it in full, you can't afford it, even a house. I don't want to be a slave to nothing. No motorcycles, no cars, house, nut, man. Own it. That's my, But anyways... So, you know, I was put a cash offer on it. Cash is king in the real estate world, right? But there was another guy that fell in love with the property too. And they put a cash offer on it, man. So I know I had to put my, I had to make my offer strong. So I did. And I won by $2,000, guys. So I'm in a contract with my dream, dream property. This is the best property I ever seen, man, so far. And it's a wealthy family owns it. Uh, oh my gosh, that is pristine, absolutely gorgeous. I mean, the grass looks like at the Masters. It's beautiful, man. The the ATV trails are absolutely perfect. They took care of it. And, oh, man, I, I feel like I got it at a pretty sick price for all that you get. And river frontage, like white water rafting type of river that you can you can throw a raft in and do have some serious fun right off the property, dude. And it even has, like, a home site. Like, I could build, put a tiny home or even build another house right there on the river, man. It is sick. 
And then the house, it sits up on this hill way up and it's got this private pond. It's absolutely gorgeous, dude. I, dude, I couldn't sleep for like 24 hours, man. I couldn't eat because I was just so hyped and amped about this property, man. And I'm not just buying it for me, too. I'm buying it for all my, my friends and family, for them to come down anytime they want to. They'll ride ATVs, UTVs, side-by-sides, uh, dirt bikes, and everything else. Four-wheelers have a good time out there. And it's even got a gazebo. Uh, cook up some barbecue. Have some shindigs, boy. Woo! I'm telling you, man, that I am so happy, guys. I don't know what to do, man. I don't know what to do. It is absolutely awesome. I'm going to be doing some videos on the property. I'm going to be mixing it up. Maybe do some white water rafting up in there. Motor vlog, or not a motor vlog, but a white water rafting vlog. <laughs> Kayaking vlog. And, oh, man, doing some side by side action. Do some slide action on my own property. I ain't trespassing in people's woods no more. <laughs> Having a good old time on my own property. And I don't answer to nobody totally unrestricted. It's going to be sick. I can't wait, man. It's absolutely awesome. And I'm keeping my crib here, too, in the Burbs. Um, you know, my house is paid for. And that one's going to be paying 100% cash for. What's awesome about uh, this property is, it of course, comes with the mineral rights and timber rights. You know, right now there's a shortage of timber and the timber prices are high, man. I could, I could literally, you know, have, sell some of the trees there and make like, probably make like ten, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 extra if I wanted to, man. And the property taxes are pretty cheap. So I, I could actually just Airbnb it out for like a couple of weeks and it would pay for the taxes for the whole year. So these rural properties are so hot now that I'm telling you, their market value is going up big time, man. So I, I bet in a couple of years, I could probably flip this property for probably 100000 more than I paid for it, uh, which I don't plan on it. I plan on this being like a family compound and also using it for business um, as far as uh, timber and also possibly Airbnb maybe or something. But I'm not only looking at this property as my dream land and you know, recreation property, but also it's a big investment, guys, because... I tell you, you can't go wrong with real estate. If you make the right real estate choices, you can never go wrong and you're going to make gains. In my opinion, it's better than stocks. Stocks is on paper as where real estate is tangible, a tangible item you can have fun in, is gaining value. I tell you, there's a property, that property that I missed out on, guys, I was telling you about with the 10 acres, ATV trails, a beautiful A-frame house and all. That property was sold in 2017 for 180,000 and it sold in 2 years for $260,000 guys. It made $80,000 in 2 years. That's $40,000 a year and they didn't do nothing to the property. Nothing. You ain't going to get that much gains with stocks for the most part guys. And, uh, you know, playing the stocks is, is like gambling, but real estate, you will always make money. Even Trump, the Trump made a ton of money. Everybody, you know, all, a lot of these rich people out here, they made it through real estate, man. For those of you guys out there that want to make some gains financially, real estate, guys. That's what helped give me my first jump that took me out of debt was my first house that I bought and I sold it at a nice profit, eliminated my debt. And from that point back in 2006, I went 100% debt free. I made it up in my mind that I was going to sacrifice. I wasn't going to get the latest and greatest phones and shoes and clothes and all that cars and stuff. And I lived, you know, frugally, saved hard, looked for multiple sources of income, uh, saved hard. Like I said, I'm not rich, guys. I just, you know, work hard, save hard, and uh, and you can achieve. You can get what you want, man. It just takes patience. And, uh, and being able to sacrifice. But a lot of you guys don't want to do that. You know, a lot of you guys want the latest and greatest and try to keep up with the Joneses. You only have one job and you create all this debt. You know, you get the mortgage, you get loans on your car, your motorcycle, credit card debt. You got that one job that's paying for everything pretty much. And then when you lose a job, everything, you, you comes down like a, a house of cards. And you're on skid row. <laughs> That's what I'm telling you guys. Live the debt-free lifestyle. You can get houses for cheap at auctions. Uh, you could, I mean, seriously, you only need to save. You don't even have to save a whole lot of money, guys. You can get houses cheap here in Cleveland. At one point, you would get, there were houses you could buy in Cleveland for like $15,000, man. 
Put people in there, Section 8, you got automatic payments every month going into your checking account. It's earning property, it'll pay itself off probably in a two, three years, and then you got pure profit coming in. That's why I tell you guys, build a real estate portfolio up, and you will make gains, all kind of gains. But anyways, guys, sorry for going off on a tangent, but yeah, I achieved my dream so far, and I hope to share some of that with you in the videos in the future. Um, so everything's set. Like I said, I'm under contract. So just want to get you guys updated. I've got a bunch of motor vlogs that I haven't edited that'll be coming up. Stay tuned for that. Um, appreciate all you guys, man. I really do. And I want you guys all to stay safe out there. Make sure you ride defensively, wearing all your gear. Get out there and ride and have a good time and enjoy yourself and stay safe. Appreciate all you guys. Leave a comment below. What do you guys think, man? Don't forget to subscribe to my All the Motorcycle channel and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto. Deuces. Thumbs up. Check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto.